Hey, it's Mike Berner, finance writer at business.com. In this video, we're going to discuss what an open API is and how that might affect your search for accounting and invoicing software. The example we will use is Sage Business Cloud Accounting, which makes heavy use of APIs. So be sure to stick around and don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the links in the video description below for more small business content. Let's start with a definition. An application programming interface, or API for short, is what allows computer programs to communicate with each other. The two types of APIs that we want to focus on are open APIs and closed APIs. In terms of capabilities, both are fundamentally the same, but the key difference is that a closed API can only be accessed by the organization that developed it and the computer program that it represents can only communicate with the organization's internal systems. An open API, on the other hand, can be accessed by third-party developers. The downside of going this route is that there can be issues with security and management, but the advantage of an open API is that it allows different applications to integrate with one another. Sage Cloud Accounting is one such product that features an API. With this feature, software developers can build innovative solutions for business owners with real-time access to their accounts. There's also a developer forum specifically for those creating software integrations for Sage. This feature is also totally free. All users need to do is register on Sage's developer website. Just something to keep in mind for tech-savvy business owners or those who can hire software developers. If you're interested in learning more, be sure to check out the best accounting and invoicing generating software guide on business.com. Our team compared all the top options and we regularly update this guide with any new developments. Finally, if you learned something from this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We're always putting out new content for small businesses. And if you have anything you want to leave in the comments, be sure to do that below. See you next time.